Bat speed and impact. One of the most important things is to have high end bat speed when the ball is making contact with the bat. To do this, we, there's a few things that happen that go wrong to affect this, and there's some things that will help you have better bat speed at impact. And it's being able to understand how your body works and using the sequence of your body to create maximum bat speed and force. Okay, one of the drills we have is what we call a step back drill. The step back drill allows the hitter to gather and store and create this coil with his lower half and it's going to work on this stride separation which is the stretching of the elastic regions in your body to set up your torque which means your lower half is going to lead your hands and then the key is to go straight to the ball with the bat in a lag position leading with the knob. A lot of hitters will be have problems with this because they release the bat too soon and the barrel speed is faster than the knob speed at the movement to impact and that will cause a lot of issues with um, bat speed at impact and also they don't use their entire body when they swing. This is an example of the drill. You start with the T even with your stride foot. Your initial move is going to step back, slow, you're going to get down into your legs and you're going to feel a slight little coil with your hips. Once you feel this little coil then you're going to stride separate and hit with the goal of hitting a line drive as hard as you can through the middle of the field. Here's the drill.